Hello folks, welcome to Not In The Man Cave. We're outside at the moment, so my friend's just dropped off his 2001 Honda CBR 1100 XX Super Blackbird. Yeah, 22 years old, he's had it since new, he's done 27,000 miles. I had the previous model to this, so I had the 2000 uh, model, and that was the burgundy one, it had the analog speedo and rev counter. This one's got the digital speedo and analog rev counter. So I thought, wouldn't it be great just to have a little trip down memory lane and take this one out for a little bit of a run not a test it's not a review it's just take it out for a run a little bit of a trip down memory lane so he brought it around to me and yet he did say there's something in the back tire so fortunately i've got one of those plug and go kits in the garage and also one of those moto compressor mini pump pocket pump things so i'm always uh, well prepared so let's see what happens when we take the foreign object out of the back wheel let's go and have a look at that now Yep, absolutely typical. It will happen to most people sometime in their life. It's happened to me normally when I put a brand new tire on. So let's see how we do a temporary repair on the rear tire. And then obviously uh, you need to take it to a tire technician and just get them to have a look at it. But officially you should really put a new tire on the back. But yeah, any comments in the comment section down below. So let's crack on. Okay, so this is the pocket tire plugger kit. I recommend that everybody should have one of these. So basically, we're just going to take one of these slippery rubber mushrooms. It's covered in a slippery film to aid the plug going into the tyre. And then we take the plugger tool and then just pop the mushroom into the top there. And then we grab the nozzle. And then with the nozzle, we're just going to push the mushroom down into the plugger itself. And then it will just sit beneath the top of the plugger like this. And then what we're going to do then is just take the rasping tool, this thing here, and then just insert it into the hole just to make sure it's clean. Before I took the Blackbird into the garage, I popped the pin back into it and then just wheeled the bike into the garage. So there we go, I've just removed it and then just insert in the rasping tool, give it a good old push in and out just to make sure that the hole is nice and tidy so we can get the insertion tool in. So this is what we're going to use now is the probe tool. It's just going to pop the nozzle over the top and then this is just going to aid us to pushing the probe tool into the tire. So let's whip the rasping tool out. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Out it comes. And then we're just going to pop the probe tool in and then that way we get the nozzle into the tire. And you can see I'm just pushing it in at the same angle as we have for the hole in the tire. So there we go, just unscrew it. And then that leaves the nozzle in the tire ready for us to insert the plugger to then put the mushroom into the tire. So there we go, it's all nice and prepared now. So we're just gonna take this and screw it into the nozzle. Here we go, screw, screw, screw into the nozzle. And you'll just notice on the bottom that the hex screw is actually flush with the base of the plugger. So you get the hex wrench and then just basically screw it down as far as it will go, just fast forwarding it a little bit. And there we go, all the way in. And that's just pushing the plug into the tire and then just wind it all the way back until it's level with the bottom of the plugger. And then what we can do then is just unscrew the plugger. In fact, we can just pull the whole thing out actually. So we just pull it all out nice and slowly and then we're left with the rubber plug in the tire. What we need to do now is just pull with a set of pliers on that rubber plug about two inches and we're just making sure that the dome is fitting flush against the inside of the tire. I just got a tape measure there for reference. So this is what we're left with then. So what we've now got to do is just inflate the tire. Excuse my tired dog paying no attention whatsoever. So what I have got is one of those pocket compressors. So I'm just gonna hook that up actually to my KTM. So there's a, a number of ways you can power this, but I'm just gonna connect it up to my KTM because my friend's Blackbird, I didn't wanna start putting the crocodile clips on the compressor onto his battery. That's all a faff. I just wanted to get it done as quickly as possible. So there we go. I've connected the compressor up, switching it on and it takes about four or five minutes to pump up to, in this case, about 42 PSI, and that's how I plug it into the SAE Optimate connector, which is attached to my KTM 890R. So there we go, some five minutes later, the tire is nice and inflated. 
and then what we're going to do is just check it so 42 psi for the back tire so job done all looks good so let's disconnect everything and then all we're going to do is get a sharp blade that's in the kit just be very careful because it's a very sharp blade and always cut away from yourselves folks so make sure you cut away and make sure you don't pull on the rubber plug and a little bit of liquid i won't say where i've got that from but a little bit of liquid just smear it on the plug yeah, just to make sure that we haven't got any air leaks and that is the offending pin typical always happens to me or my mate so there we go that's it it can ruin your day so i've put uh, all the links in the description down below go and check them out but either you get the pump and somebody else gets the repair kit or you have both but it will certainly make your day a lot happier if you need to get your puncture repaired on the road when it's raining it's a five minute job and anybody can do it no matter how big or small you are so yep links in the description down below be prepared and i'm going to go and take this 21 22 year old blackbird out for a visit down memory lane and i'll put a link up here somewhere cheerio ride safe bye